pile of parts, pile of parts, pile of parts. Well, not that. That's Mickey's monitor. Or I guess not this either. That's just a giant sign that we got from the shop. Check out that video. But this, this is what we're dealing with today. <gasps> Woo! Cool. Alrighty, so behind me we have the rigged ultra swing for the fifth gen 4Runner. We're currently gonna start winterizing or snow prepping the car for the little bit of snow we get in California. Uh, Cause we're going up to the slopes. Yeah, go ahead, open it up. So that's gonna include the roof rack, this ultra swing. That'll be a whole different video about how we're prepping to go to the snow to go ride. But today we're installing the rigged ultra swing. Quick unboxing. Oh, that's sweet. So this is the safety release lever to swing out the ultra swing. They actually changed it for this new model and it's an actual ODI bike grip. So that's pretty cool. It's not just a generic handle. And then we also have the table. Are those oh, stickers? Okay. Stickers, is that candy? candy? Root beer candy? Oh, yeah. awesome. Oh. All right, so if you don't know what the rigged ultra swing is, yeah. it is a tailgate swing arm that you can mount fifth wheel to. I don't know if we're mounting the fifth wheel today because we're still on stock wheels and they're kind of ugly, so. But the cool thing is we got the table attachment so you can swing it out, put the table down, and you can eat at your tailgate, so that's awesome. So, yeah, installing that today. Let's get it. Ugh, this thing is heavier than I thought. This is the front runner table and cutting board combo, I believe. You could buy it directly from Rigged, but it is a front runner product and they just sell an adapter to adapt it to the back of the ultra so. Pretty cool. All right, in case y'all missed it, Rigged Supply had a sweet Black Friday deal that we were able to pick all of this up on. Um, if you bought the Ultra Swing, I believe it came with the table, which is normally like, how much is the table? Like 300 bucks? Yeah, it's like a $300 upgrade, so came with it. So that's awesome. Yeah, 299, 300-ish. We also got a couple more accessories. This is the mount for a high lift jack. We don't yet own a high lift jack, but when we do, um, we have a place to mount it. Also tied in with the Black Friday deal. My dad's grabbing the hardware right now. Yeah, this is probably the fifth tire mount. Again, I don't know if we're putting the fifth wheel on because our stock wheels are ugly, so. Alrighty, so let's get into the install. It should be pretty easy. There's just this wedge. I believe you put some assembly grease on it and then you slide it in there. You tighten down the bolt and it'll expand. So we'll pull the foreigner in now. So we're gonna toss it in here first, I think. Step. Number one, we need to loosen this wedge. You can see it's all the way up right now, so it's wider. There's a 19 millimeter bolt inside there. You loosen that and this should drop down and make it fit into our actual hitch. So let's do that. All right, you loosen that out. Now you can see this kind of just dangles here and when it compresses in, it kind of makes this whole pipe skinnier. It just gets skinnier so it'll fit into the hitch of the car. Next up, we're just gonna grease up the wedge just to prevent any metal to metal contact. That way when you torque this down, it's nice and tight and it doesn't get caught on anything. I'm just using part tool grease. And it's just to stop that metal to metal contact. So there's already a little bit of grease in here, but make sure every metal surface any contact point. You don't need too, too much on the outside. And it's just to make sure that it slides in nicely and it can expand to the size of the actual hitch. Now that we're all looped up, I'm just gonna line up that wedge, toss it into here. Now we're going to stick our socket in there again and tighten it down to 100 foot pounds. That way, if you could see, it levels out the ultra swing because it'll expand that wedge and level out our arm. All right, so as I'm tightening this wedge, you can see the ultra swing starts to level out. Now, unfortunately, our Harbor Freight torque wrench only goes up to 80 pounds, 80 foot pounds, but we're just gonna use 80 pounds plus my dad's gigantic arms. That should be tight enough. Now, the reason why you want to do it up to 100 foot-pounds is because the Ultra Swing does have a towing capacity of 10,000 pounds, meaning you could actually still use this adapter to tow a trailer or whatever with the Ultra Swing still on there. So you want to make sure that wedge is really in there nice and tight. All right, next step would be to toss a hitch pin in through there to lock it down. I don't know if ours didn't come with one or we just can't find it 
but we ordered a locking hitch pin anyways, like a security hitch pin so no one takes it. And that should be coming in either today or tomorrow. So just note, you gotta toss in a hitch pin. We're not doing it because we don't have ours yet. So all right, now actually unlocking the ultra swing, you're gonna pull off this bolt. This what bolt is, is in here just for shipping so it doesn't okay. open up on you. And then you're going to unlock it and then you're going to pull the pin. There you go. And then it should come right open. Nice, that's nice and solid. It doesn't just swing out and hit a car, so it's nice and nice and snug. Also, this guy, so you don't lose it, it has a carabiner on it. Um, I'm gonna clip it here for now. All right, now we're gonna mount the table on there. And we also got a license plate bracket, so we can put that on there too. Now we're opening up the front runner table. It should just attach on with these brackets right there. That's cool. All right, so just kidding about the table. We have to do the fifth wheel mount first because the fifth wheel mount bolts in here and sticks out here. And obviously if we put the table here, it'll cover up these bolt holes. So we're gonna do that first. So you're gonna grab the four zinc plated gold bolts and then you're gonna toss them in through the back, not through here. Oh, also your single lug nut should be at the top, not at the bottom. All right, for whatever reason, no video I could find online would tell you which hardware to use. I guess most people just kind of figured it out, but I'll tell you now, you use the big, thicker thumb screw with the Allen key on it to mount the actual bracket to the swing arm, and then you use these smaller Allen key dome bolts to mount to the table. That way, your surface is much more flush when you open it up and the bolts look a bit nicer. Alrighty, after a bunch of fiddling, I think we finally got the brackets where we like them. We mounted from the bottom up again. If you guys are interested and you wanna use these same settings cause you like where the table ends up at, we are currently one, two, three, fourth hole from the top and the very bottom hole on this bracket, the mounting points are pointed that way. And then on this one, it is also pointed that way. So that's how we have that set up. Table's all bolted up now. The cutting board should be functional too. Oh, it's tight in there. <laughs> Need some breaking in. But yeah, there's a cutting board in there and it slides out. They also included a nice wood one. This thing looks cool. That's my vibe right there. I might toss that one in. Now we're tossing on the high lift jack mount and license plate relocation because when you have a wheel on here, it's gonna cover up your license plate. You're gonna start off by taking out these two bolts. Normally you would put a license plate here, but because we're putting on the high lift jack mount, it mounts over this, then you mount the plate to the high lift jack mount. Once again, we're just sorting through hardware. Now, because we don't have our high lift jack yet, it's a little confusing to know which hardware mounts for what because we don't know what bolts into the actual high lift jack and what actually ties it down. These are like similar size. So these are the longest, then these are the shortest, and these are like an in-between. So since there's five of these, we notice we need, there's five holes here, there's two here, and then three here that mount the other side of the bracket. So we're just gonna use the five here to correspond with those holes. And I believe this goes into the bottom with a wing nut so that you could actually tie down your high lift jack and be able to access it easily because of these wing nuts. All right, he mounted these guys on here. Again, we don't know exactly which hardware to use. Just kind of put what fits, like these wing nuts. Like these are the only slots that these fit into, but it looks kind of weird. That's not the most important thing. The important thing is the mount because we don't even have the high lift jack yet. So we'll probably save all the hardware and repurpose it when we actually have the high lift jack to install on here. Just put it on there because it looks cool. And we needed to put the plate mount down there so we could relocate it from up here to down there. Boom. That is the rigged ultra swing with table, with plate relocation, with high lift jack mount, all mounted up. And obviously not the fifth wheel because stock wheels are ugly and we don't want to put them up there. Looks kind of like a like a wheelchair is mounted to the back or like a, a hover round, <laughs> but yeah. I think that looks sick. What you think, Mick? It's sweet. It's kind of aggressive. It, yeah, it just, you know, it goes out. Here, I'll show you. you swivel it? Uh, grab that handle and then pull it towards the car. Yeah. There you go. Now reach in here. You can see that orange carabiner. Pull up on that. There's a pin. That pin will come out. Okay, it pins go. out. Now uh, pull on the thing. Okay. Look at that. The wheel goes here. You could undo that table. There's a lock on it. There's a little lock switch. This thing slides up and then pull on the thing. There you go. Look at that. Oh, this thing needs to swing all the way out for the tailgate to open. Then now we could chill there, have our meals. Also has a cutting board. Nice little cutting board. Give my avocado. Yeah, avocado. We need some chairs now to sit there. It's solid. 
solid. Successful install. Successful install. Was it difficult? That wasn't too bad, it was just tedious. Just getting everything to align and put it where we want it. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of us installing the rigged supply ultra swing for the fifth gen 4runner hope it was helpful hope you learned some things hope you didn't learn some things because we just kind of winged it there's a step-by-step -step install guide that comes with it we just didn't look it up because it was pretty straightforward you know it was a little tedious finding the bolts but we figured it out anyways i think the next video will be us actually completing winter prepping this for when we go to the slopes tomorrow I just wanted to make a dedicated install video for the rigged swing arm because I know there's not too, too much information and too many videos out there. Again, we didn't put our fifth wheel on there because our set of wheels is still on its way. And the stock fifth wheel is a steely, it turns out. So that's quite ugly, but it's on there nonetheless. It has a table so we can eat during lunchtime at the slopes. So yeah. Thanks guys so much for watching. Vlogging every day until Christmas. Hope you guys are enjoying plenty of content to come soon. So have a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm out. Peace.